Hey man, what it is? This is Dean, and I am your host, and this is by any means. There go to Cash App, dollar sign Dean by any means. There go to PayPal at Dean by any means. Y'all already know what I'm about to say. I don't care if you leave a dollar, ten dollars, a thousand dollars. It's much, much, much appreciated. I want to talk about something, man. We see somebody unraveling right in front of our face, man. And I told y'all, Ryan Garcia is not crazy. He's an idiot. And I blame his parents. This is all his parents' fault, especially, especially Henry Garcia. Because he a clout chaser just like his son. And um, I just think that Ryan has become addicted to attention. And I'm, I'm going to tell you why. Somebody that's crazy, that's really losing it, is like a Delonte West. And Orlando Brown, um, Kanye West to a certain aspect, but I put Kanye West more into the Ryan Garcia category. Um, they will do anything, including mock Jesus for attention. Attention is the biggest. Ryan Garcia definitely needs rehab, but not for drugs, not for any of that. Ryan Garcia needs rehab for attention. He has became become addicted to his phone. He has become addicted to having his name out there in the tabloids and in the presses. He has become addicted to, he cannot separate the two. And Mike Tyson talked about this, about where you, where you start believing this, like, like you, 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 you start believing the world that's not real. Ryan Garcia does not know how to separate the internet from his real life. He does not know how to separate the two. And that's why it's so dangerous when people become famous because you never know how people are going to react to um, all of the attention. Ryan Garcia can't fathom having his name out of the tabloids for no less than a couple days. Ever since he was fighting, uh, ever since he fought Devin Haney, he has been he has been going even harder than he was going prior to the fight. That boy not crazy. That boy's an idiot. And I need you to understand the difference between the two. An idiot is somebody who doesn't think before they do stuff. They don't think before they talk. They don't think before they do, before they they um before they do an action because all they care about is the reaction to whatever stupid thing it is that they're doing. Somebody that's crazy, that's going crazy, has no control of it. And y'all, I'm a person that has personal experiences with mental health. Let's just say with people that's very close to me. So mental health is not a, a conversation you can have with me. I don't care about these other YouTube channels, them going to school, college, whatever. It ain't nothing that they can have with me. They're not educated enough on it. And unless that they have dealt with it firsthand or have been around people that have dealt with it firsthand, you don't know what you're talking about. Somebody that's unraveling, Ryan Garcia, if he was really, really, really unraveling, he wouldn't be able to have control over his finances. It, it would be much worse than the things that he is dealing with because we have seen much worse with people that actually are going crazy. No, right? No, some people are just bad people, y'all. Some people don't have emotional intelligence. Some people don't have real intelligence. Ryan Garcia is addicted to a drug, but it's a drug called attention that is more powerful in fame than is more powerful than anything you could put in front of somebody. Ryan Garcia is the Kanye West of boxing. Remember everybody was saying Ryan, Kanye West going crazy. Kanye West is not going crazy. Kanye West is addicted to attention. Somebody that's going crazy would not be able to have control of their finances. They would be everything around them would be crumbling. Kanye West smart enough to say stuff right when he got a new sneaker coming out or something like that. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. He just don't mind being the one that's looked at that way. Donald Trump has done the same exact thing, y'all. Them, them men aren't crazy. No, they just want you to believe that. I'm smart enough to know the difference between the two, y'all. Lauren Hill was really unraveling. That's why she hasn't dropped an album since. That's somebody that unraveled. They wouldn't be able to perform, train, do any of those things. Somebody that's just an idiot is um how Adrian Broner used to act. Remember, we thought Adrian Broner was going crazy. No, Adrian Broner was just on that sauce, and he couldn't. He was too addicted to the attention of what his craft brought him. And that's the sad part of it, y'all. 
That is the sad part of it. Odell Beckham, to a certain aspect, was being an idiot, being um more attached to the fame than he is the actual thing that got him the fame. Ryan Garcia needs help, but not for the reasons that y'all think he needs help. Ryan Garcia is is one is probably the most immature boxer. Him and Tiafimo Lopez in boxing, but at least Tiafimo isn't as much of a club chaser as Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia will mock Jesus to keep his name in the tabloids. Ryan Garcia will say he know who killed Tupac just to keep his name in the tabloids. Ryan Garcia has no length that he is willing to go to to keep his name out there. Similar to Charleston White, y'all. No different than Charleston White. White. I'm going to say some of the most controversial, um, abnormal things that's going to get everybody talking about me. And it's sad because I blame Henry Garcia. I blame Ryan Garcia's mother. He don't have no, and this is what happens when the parents are relying on the child because he's the breadwinner. It's no different than with John ja Morant and his dad. T. Morant was so high, was so excited about the success and being a star himself that he lost track of the things that his boy was doing. He started making excuses for it. Nah, he stopped held, holding them accountable the way he was holding them accountable when he was at Murray State. Yeah, the parents got to take, well, at a certain age, you can't tell your kid something. That shows me what type of parent you are right there. That you think your kid gets to a certain age, you can't say something to them. I would never be that parent. That will forever be my child. They only became a a, they only became an adult because I guided you that way. Without me working and putting food in your mouth and letting you grow up, I could have been a terrible parent. All I owe you as a parent is to put clothes on your back and food in your mouth. I could have fed you the bare minimum every day and got you clothes from goodwill that's all i owed you and a, a, a cot and a mat parents don't owe you nothing else besides that you just want more than that they technically from the government all they deserve all they owe you is to make sure you eat every night to make sure you're not in a environment that's um make sure that you're not in a household that's infested with roaches rats and to make sure you got clothes on your back so that means that they could have you living in a studio apartment your whole life, shopping at Goodwill, having pay less sneakers, and feed you um, oodles and noodles or the bare minimum every day. And they could not get in trouble, trouble for it. And technically, you couldn't even call them a bad parent. You couldn't even call them a bad parent. That's all a parent owes you. They don't owe you anything else after that. So to sit up there and act like parents, no, parents, well, it's, it, it, it's my child. It ain't nothing else I can do. No, there's plenty more you can do. It's like the parents who be out here and they know their kids gangbanging. Mama ducks of the world. You know your kid gangbanging, but you act like, like FBG G duck was just so much better than little dirt and King Von and all of them. Like your son was the angel and they was just, out here um, fighting spirits. No, your son was just as big of part of the problem as the other guys are. Your son is not innocent. And your son, you don't know everything your son did out here. It's no different than the parents that let their kids gangbang, but constantly. Let their kids do certain stuff and then they act like they oblivious to it. The reason they're acting like this, you never pulled them to the side of my house today. Oh, you claiming blood, you claiming crip, you got up in your room, you need to pack that up and go ahead because I love you, lo love you, no love you. You won't be out here ruining my last name, building a reputation and acting like I am, I am letting you do these type of things and I condone these things, I don't. My mom always told me, baby, if you go to jail, I'm not coming to visit you. Unless there's something that was out of your control, self-defense, something like that, that mommy could understand. If it was something of your own doing, I'm not driving three, four hours to come see you. Sorry. I might send you a little bit of money, but that's about it. Ryan Garcia has nobody in his life that's actually going to hold him accountable. It's no way you telling me if Mama Garcia hit Ryan up and tell him, and the things that Ryan Garcia going through with his mom, she's suffering from illnesses, I heard. Um, there's no way if she called him and told him to stop that dumb stuff that he wouldn't do it. I, I truly believe he would. But some parents ain't.
don't move that way. Sorry, it couldn't be me. You heard that story of Shaq and Charles Barkley, and when they was fighting on the court and all that, and they moms called them and told them to cut it out. How Shaquille O'Neal mom called him and told him to stop talking about JaVel McGee because JaVel McGee mother talked to Shaquille O'Neal mother. You're embarrassing me as my child. And Shaq said, my mom called, called me and said, you're being a bully. You need to stop doing that. It's deeper than you now. That man got a mother and you sitting up there um, trying to devalue that man's career or stop him from getting money. You need to stop doing that. And what Shaq do? He stopped doing it. Shaq 40-something, or Shaq, Shaq almost was 50 years old and his parents still hold him accountable. So don't tell me that they, they can't do this and they can't do that. No, there's no attempt to do it. Ryan Garcia needs help, but not for the reasons that y'all think he needs help. The boy need to realize he not like that. He need to stick to being a pretty boy, go to church, go get your life together, be who you actually are, my guy. Stop trying to be something you're not. You're not this revolutionary guy. You're not none of this. Your heart may be in the right place, but your character is not. I'm going to say it again. Your heart may be in the right place, but your character is deemed by any means. And I holler at you.